Hey there, this is Phil Giacalone and this is a quick overview of the UAV Dev Board and Matrix Pilot software. Uh, the UAV Dev Board and Matrix Pilot have been developed over the past several years by Bill Premilani and the UAV Dev Board team. Um, just to have a quick look at the hardware in front of me, this is uh, the UDB connected up to some servos and some other hardware as it would be typically for an airplane configuration. So here we have the UDB4, the latest version of the UAV Dev Board an EM406 GPS receiver, a Spectrum uh, RC receiver in this case, a Spectrum DX7 transmitter in this case, some servos which uh, represent the servos that would be on the plane. Uh, we have an electronic speed controller that would be hooked up to the motor on one side and off to the battery on the other and we have a battery and coming off of the ESC we have a, a battery elimination circuit BEC wire that uh, connects up to the UDB. Also, we have a PIC Kit 3, which is a microchip product, which is used for programming the UAV dev board. Um, and then we have some optional hardware. Here we have an open log uh, serial logger product that's available from SparkFun. This is a three axis magnetometer available from DIY drones. And this is an alternative GPS unit also available from DIY drones. That's uh, MediaTek MT3329. And you can see that it's uh, quite a bit smaller than the EM406. Either of those GPS units are viable options with the UDB. Um, now, just to just kind of talk about the inputs and the outputs ports on the UDB. On the left-hand side, we have eight um, input ports. On the out, on the right-hand side, there are eight. Excuse me, input ports on the left and output ports on the right. Um, eight of each. Um, and just to kind of show you how the wiring works here, um, in this case, the uh, Spectrum uh, receiver outputs are going to five ports on the input side of the UDB. Uh, this one here is the throttle, then the aileron, then the elevator, then the rudder, and then AUX1, auxiliary one, which is used to control the modes of operation of the, of the UDB. Uh, off on the transmitter itself, there's a three-position switch which controls the um, the modes and that signal is sent through aux one to the UDB. Um, the three modes uh, we're talking about are uh, manual mode, stabilized mode, and waypoints mode. Uh, and there's a fourth mode um, if the transmitter is turned off or the receiver loses signal for any reason, the UDB goes into return to launch mode and actually will fly back home, circle around and land automatically. So that's a quick look at the wiring. Um, some of the hardware, uh, the optional hardware, um, and now what we're going to do is fire this up. I'm going to hook up the um, open log to this port, these ports here. Uh, you can see there's already, by the way, a three-axis magnetometer connected to the board. That's optional, but it's uh, in this case soldered to the board. Uh, the open log will be connected there. Um, these ports down here are used to program the board. Um, so the uh, PIC Kit 3 is used to connect uh, to that and to program the board. So now what we're going to do is fire up the transmitter, hook up the uh, open log, connect up the battery, and then show how the UDB goes through its uh, initialization. And during the first 10 seconds of initialization, you want the board flat, level, and motionless uh, so that the UDB can capture the offsets of the um, gyros and the accelerometers. So here we go. We um, turn on the transmitter. I'm going to put down the uh, put down the camera, hook up the open log, and hook up the battery. All right. So now we can watch the UDB go through its initialization. We have green LED on, red LED blinking, and we should see some wags of the aileron and rudder servos. There we see those. That's showing that it has captured the offsets of the accelerometers and the gyros. And now the board is free to move. And we're waiting for the second phase of initialization, which is for the GPS to um, achieve, or the GPS receiver to achieve GPS lock. Um, that will be indicated by four wags of these airline and rudder servos. So wait a moment for that takes about a minute or two depending on uh, the availability of the satellites, etc. So there we go, we saw those four wags. So now the G the um, UDB is, is uh, fully initialized and actually you'd be ready to fly at this point. Um, one other thing I wanted to show is that 
At this point, um, hopefully you can see it. There's a, I'll turn off this light for a second. There's a blinking uh, light reflected off the UDB. That's actually the light coming from the um, open log, uh, indicating that it's receiving telemetry and it's recording it on this, uh, this chip, this memory chip. Turn the lights back on. Um, so now we're gonna sh uh, show the uh, behaviors of the LEDs in the various modes as I flip the three position switch on my transmitter. So we're currently in the down position. Manual mode, green LED on, red LED off. Uh, manual mode meaning that the autopilot's disengaged and that you're flying the plane on your own. Um, now to the center position of the three position switch. Green LED on, red LED on, and uh, we're in stabilized mode. The UDB would be attempting to keep the plane flying straight and level. Now continuing along this to the third position of the switch on the transmitter, we get green LED on, red LED blinking, and we are now in waypoints mode in which the UDB will be navigating the plane along pre-programmed waypoints, uh, flying basically a trajectory that's pre-programmed. Uh, now just following along again, I'm going to shut off the transmitter so that we lose the, um, rec the receiver will lose signal. We'll go into return to launch mode, and there it is. Green LED off, red LED on, and the UDB will be flying the plane back home, circling and landing. Now I'm going to flip the switch back to stabilized mode, turn the transmitter back on. It takes a second or so to reacquire the signal. And now we're back. It's acquired it. Green LED on, red LED on. We're in stabilized mode. So now what I wanted to show was the behavior of the uh, servos in response to rotations around the three axis. axes. This is the positive X, uh, I believe positive Y, and then positive Z. Um, so roll around this, pitch around that, yaw around that. First thing I'll do is roll, so we should see the aileron servo respond. So here we go. Rolling around the x-axis, and you can see, hopefully, that that servo is responding. Now I'm going to pitch around the Y. You can see, see that servo reacting and then the yawing around the z-axis. It's difficult to see the rudder servo responding. Probably had the gains way too low. But those are um, the normal behaviors of the servos and how the UDB controls uh, the servos and the reactions uh, in stabilized mode. So that's about that. Um, the last thing to talk about is just the PIC Kit 3. Um, once again available from Microchip. It's used to program the board. On the top of it is a USB connector which connects to your PC. On the bottom is the wiring that connects to these ports down here on the UDB to uh, program the board. So that's it. That's been a quick overview of the UDB and Matrix Pilot. Thank you very much for watching.